If you haven't already watched the demo video for Try Catch, do that first because it's how we got to this place. Now, once you've turned your non-terminating error into a terminating exception, when that happens, your catch block will execute. And in there, you might want to do something about the error. One of the things you might want to do is access the error and, and actually see what's happening. PowerShell provides a built-in dollar error variable for that. It's actually a collection and zero will be the most recent error. So you could just display that, which is what this will do. Uh, kind of an easier way to do that though is to, on the command that might generate the error, use the error variable or its shorter version actually, ev, specify the name of a variable and the name of a variable, remember, does not include a dollar sign. So now if an error occurs, it'll actually be put into this variable and I can access it down here. So I could log that to a file, I could display it on the screen, which is what this will do, and so forth.